everyone, it's K. Welcome to the Leveling Guide for Case Summoner. In this video, I'll show you how to go from a fresh start to mapping for my minion army necromancer. I highly recommend using an item filter. I like to use Neversync Soft for leak start. Okay, let's go. In the first turn, kill the boss and enter Lion Eyes Watch. Fine work with Hillock. From Takli, take Freezing Pulse. You can also check his shop for 10% movement speed boots by searching for NN. Farewell. I saw Lion Eyes Watch isn't mine. Sell your loot unidentified to get transmute orbs. You will need these to buy more gems later. Buy a red zombie gem from Nessa and check her shop for any 3 link wounds. You need 3 blues and 2 blue plus 1 red. Farewell. While leveling up, I'll be using the gems and links and passive tree on the side. The gems are freezing pass link to Arcan Surge and put Red Zombie anywhere. Set freezing pass to always attacking without moving. Kill Hair Rake in the Tidal Island and return to town. You can save portal scrolls by exiting to the character section and logging back in. From Takli, take Summon Raging Spirit and Frost Blink. From Nessa, take Quicksilver Flask and Summon Phantasms and buy Holy Flame Totem. The gems are Summon Raging Spirit linked to Arcane Surge, Holy Flame Totem linked to Summon Phantasms, and put Red Zombie and Frost Blink anywhere. You can sell three of the same flask to get one flask of a higher tier. In the submerged passage, looking for a bridge. Open a portal here, but don't use it. We will use this shortcut a little later. Now find the exit and run through to the climb. If this is your big start, kill the phone and talk to Navali, then continue to the lower prison. Take the waypoint to Lionize Watch and go straight to the portal. Find the flooded depth and kill the deep dweller, then return to Lionize Watch. From Nessa, take minion damage. From Takli, take the skill book. Link minion damage to summon raging spirit. Then go back to the lower prison. Find and complete the trial and then find the Warden's Chambers. Killing bosses is quite easy. Cast Holy Flame Totem near him and move in a circle while summoning Raising Spirit. Return to Lionize Watch. From Takli, take Summon Skeletons. From Nessa, bite Vitality and Flame Dash. Replace SOS with Skeletons and Frost Blink with Flame Dash. Go back to the prisoner's gate and find the ship graveyard, then look for the ship graveyard cave. Get the old flame from the slave girl, exit to the ship graveyard, and find the caverns of wrath. Take the waypoints back to the ship graveyard. Find and kill fair graves and return to Lionize Watch. From Vestal, take the skill book. You can take Stormbrand from Nessa. The next boss does a lot of cold damage, so you need decent cold resistance. You can buy sapphire rings from Nessa, or sell one iron ring and one blue skill gem. Take the waypoint to Marvel's caverns. While fighting this boss, be careful to dodge her ice spears, holy knives, and water fountains. Why? 
And that's it. Pick up what you can and ease it to the southern forest. Find the den in the old fields and then kill the great white beast. Then go to the crossroads. From the waypoint, go left to the chambers of things. Complete the trial. Then kill the mini boss, get the baleful eye, and return to town. From Grest, take Desecrate. Identify and sell any yellow items. Take Heavy Belt from Yina and buy a Jade Amulet and summon Skitterbots. Go back to the crossroads, then go right to the Fair Shrine Reigns and the Crypt. Complete the trial and return to town. Return to the crossroads and go up the path to the Broken Bridge. Kill Kretlin. Then return to town and exit to the river way. From the waypoint, go left to the wetlands and kill Og. Return to the riverways and go to the western forest. Kill Alira. Then kill the black girls and unlock the seal. Lastly, find the weaver's chamber and kill it. Then return to town. Take Predator from Silk. Talk to Eremia to get two passive points and the Apex. Go back to Act 1 Lionite Watch to get a skill book from Vestal. And buy a minion damage from Nessa. Go to the wetlands. And enter the Val Ruins, click on the Ancient Seal and exit to the Northern Forest. If this is your first time playing PoE, you can unlock a player hideout in the Dread Thicket. It's marked by a blue icon. Kill all the monsters to unlock the hideout. We will need to use the crafting bench later. Return to the northern forest. Go through the caverns and the pyramids until you find the pyramid apex. Click on the dark altar to spawn the boss. Kill the boss to finish Act 2. After killing the guards, you must talk to Clarissa to continue. Enter Sun, then exit to the slums and find the crematorium. Complete the trial and defeat Piety. Click on Tolman, take the bracelet and return to town. Take convocation from Maramoa and the silver key from Clarissa. Find the silver grating and enter the sewers. There are three quest items and a hideout to unlock here. Complete the trial in the catacombs, then return to town. Take the skill book from Hagan. Go back to the marketplace and find the battlefront. The ribbon spool quest item is near the waypoint. And the next quest item is in the docks. Look for the supply container and take the thaumatic sulfide. Then find Diala in the Solaris Temple. Take the Jade Amulet and the Infernal Talk. Go to the sewers, clear the Undying Blockage, and exit to Ebony Barracks. Kill General Gravitius, then continue to the Lunaris Temple. Find and kill Piety. Then go back to town. Take the skill book from Grigor and take Ray's Spectre from Maramoa. Go to the Imperial Gardens and enter the library. Look for the loose candle. Enter the archives. Find the four pages. 
then go back to Siosa and take mid shield. Complete the last trial at the top of the gardens. Then find and enter the scepter of God. If this is your first time playing PoE, you can unlock the Scion character here. You can make this boss fight easier by staying close to this wall. The boss and monsters are really dangerous, so always keep the wall between you and them. When the boss goes into his second phase, you have some time to resummon zombies if they die. Stay inside the yellow circle when he casts his airy bleed. No one will cry for you, Dominus. Not a soul. Exit to the aqueduct to start Act 4. Go through the aqueduct and enter the dried lake. Find and kill Vol, pick up the Shred's banner, and return to town. Click on the Shred's seal, but don't go into the mine yet. Talk to Oyun and take Stone Golem. Enter the mines and find the Shred's spirit on level 2. You can find the excavated hideout in this town. Enter Darius's dream on the right. Find and kill the boss. Get the Eye of Desire and Portal to Highgate. Take the skill book from Tasuni. Make sure you have 75% fire resistance before continuing. Return to the Crystal Veins and enter Calm Stream. Find and kill the boss. Pick up the Eye of Fury and Portal to Highgate. And go to the Crystal Veins. Talk to Diella and make your way to the Bowers of the Beast. This boss uses two spells. An AoE spell that doesn't move, and a moving red beam. Just run in a circle around the boss, and recast your skeletons if they die. The fight has two parts. In part 1, when Piety says now exile, attack the big boss. When Piety says kill me, attack her. At the same time, remember to keep moving and avoid the red balls and red marks on the ground. Repeat this. Then enter the block hut for part 2. Attack the boss until he activates the heart of beast. You need to destroy the heart to be able to attack the boss again. This happens 3 times. While attacking the boss, you will also need to dodge zombies, land mines, flying red balls, and floating red circles. Spell we go from Petarius Avenger and take multi strike from the Allah. Fight your way to the lever, then enter the Orius portal to go to Act 5. Now that we've reached the Act 5 town, we will ascend to Necromancer and start using Spectres. But first, Go to Act 2 and buy melee physical damage. Then go to Act 3 to buy elemental army. To raise spectres, enter the control blocks. Take out spherical from the spectre links and put red spectre on your caspar. 
cast the secret to create corpses. Hold the corpse targeting button and move your mouse around. Cast free specter when it shows the slave driver. When you have two specters, take the spell of the Casper and put spell echo back into the links. Go to Act 3 Sam and click on Ascendancy flag. Select the labyrinth and activate it. The love is a giant maze filled with the traps that you experienced in the trials. After you kill the boss at the end, you can use the altar of ascendancy to become a necromancer. For the ascendancy passive, choose mindless aggression. Go back to Act 5 and then enter the control blocks. Get the Miasmid quest item in far left, then find the exit. Fight your way to the Templar court and through to the Chamber of Innocence. This will switch between attacking you and summoning minions. Just keep moving while you cast your skeletons and totem. When he's dead, Run through the torched courts and exit to the ruined square and find Osari. Look for the tomb of the first Templar and take the sign of purity. Exit to the ruined square. Near the bottom right of the zone, you can find an optional boss and a stately hideout unlock. And a little further in the relic quarry, grab the three quest items and return to town. Take this key book from Valenta and Lani. Return to the ruined square and find the cathedral rooftop. The Act 5 boss is inside the cathedral apex. He does a sweeping attack, a grand degen, a fist slam, and a channeled explosion. When you do enough damage, his heart will pop out and minions will spawn. Focus fire the heart. After you defeat the boss, you will get a minus 30% res debuff. I'm Captain Lily Rock. Change your gear and use your crafting bench to fix your resistances. Go to Act 3 Sun and buy Frostbite, Generosity, Hatred, and Armor Brand. From Act 4, buy Hextatch. From Act 1, buy Bone Offering. Fix your gems and links, then go back to Act 6, clear the Twilight Strand, and get a Book of Regrets from Lily. Find and kill Dishonored Queen in the Mark Flats. Enter the Karui Fortress and kill Chokohama in his cave. Make your way to the lower prison, complete the trial, then go up the tower and kill the bosses on the rooftop. Find Valley of the Fire Drinker and kill Aberath. Go left when at the waypoint in the riverways and kill Wislatha in the red lands. Return to town. Take two skill books from Tarkley and one book from Bestel. Go back to the riverways and find the caverns of Ranger. Pick up Black Flag and you can unlock the coral hideout here. Complete the escort's puzzle at the beacon. Then light the beacon and sail to Brian King's Reef. While you can attack the boss, try to stay behind him. And when he is invulnerable, stay in dry zone and avoid the lining, which is marked by white circles on the ground. Set to bridge encampment. Make your way to the crossroads and then go right at the waypoint. Enter the first shrine ruins and the crypt. Complete the trial, then find the sarcophagus. Look for the container of sins and pick up Maligara's map. Return to town. Go back to the crossroads and go left to the chamber of sins. Insert Maligara's map into the map device.
Find and kill Maligaro in his workshop. Take Block Venom and return to the Chamber of Sins. Take the Obsidian Key from Silk. Complete the trial. Unlock the Bayful Hideout and find the secret passage. Kill Crest in the Fortress Encampment. Find Dread Thicket and collect 7 fireflies. Kill Grafko in her den of despair. Then enter the causeway. You can find a quest item near the exit. Enter Vow City and look for the waypoint. Talk to Gina, then return to town. Take one skill book from Weilam and two books from Eremie. Go back to the Vow City and enter Temple of Decay. Make your way down until you find the boss room. Avoid the purple beams and don't stand in front of the boss. When the boss is dead, exit and find the sound encampment. In Act 8, we will change to a cold damage spectre. Click on the rogue marker to open the portal to the rogue harbor. You will need a repository or tunnels contract. Buy one from Wakano if you don't already have one. Stay near the entrance and cast Desecrate. The corpses are invisible here, but you can still raise them. Raise two Frost Auto Scouts. You can complete the contract or just go straight to the lab. Do the cruel lab and kill the boss. And then take unnatural strength. You should now be able to raise three spectres. Back in sun, go through the toxic conduit and dodge reach the spawn. Then kill the boss in the cold room. From the waypoint, go up and exit to the key. Stay next to the water and find a small island. Take the Ark of Eternity from the sealed casket. Find the resurrection site, then kill Tolman. As you go through the grain gate, the dead bodies will show the way. Kill the Gemlin Legionnaires. Then exit to Imperial Fields. Find Solaris Temple and kill the boss on level 2. Portal back to San and take the waypoint to the Solaris Temple. Exit to Solaris Concourse and enter Harbor Bridge. Run all the way to the Lunaris Concourse. From the waypoint, go down and left to find the bathhouse. Unlock the luxurious hideout and complete trial. Go to the High Gardens and kill the boss in the Pools of Terra. Take the skill book from Hagen, Maramo, and Clarissa. Take the waypoint to Lunaris Concourse. Go up and left to find the Lunaris Temple. Kill the boss on level 2. Take waypoint to Lunaris Concourse. Go to the Harbor Bridge and enter Sky Shrine. Kill the two bosses, then enter Act 9. Make your way to the Bastille Desert. Find the stone with the chest and take the stone blade. Go through the foothills to the boiling lake. Find and kill the boss. Talk to Sin, then talk to Petarius and Venja. Take bottle well, storm. Find the oasis and kill the scorpion boss.
Take skill book from Irasha, then go back to the foothills. Enter the tunnel and complete the trial, then go to the quarry. In the quarry, find the shrine of the winds. Kill the boss, then find the refinery. Find and kill boss. Enter next room and then get the trust and powder from the machine. Take skill book from Irasha. Go to the quarry and talk to Sin. Enter the belly of the beast. Make your way through the belly of the beast and rotting core. Talk to Sin and kill the three mini bosses. Then enter the black heart and kill the depraved trinity. Go to cathedral rooftop, enter the apex, kill the monsters, and exit. Head to the right and exit to Ravage Square. Go to the bottom of the zone and find the control blocks. Find the arena, kill the boss, and go back to town. Take the skill book from Lani. Then take the waypoint to control blocks. Find the Osori, unlock the skeletal hideout, and complete the trial. Complete the merciless lab, then allocate bone barrier. Waypoint to Ravage Square. I recommend setting Bone Armor to left mouse button so that it auto casts while you are moving. Go through the torched course to the Sanctum of Innocence. Kill the boss and take the Staff of Purity. At the dogs, talk to Banon, then go to the Ravage Square. Talk to Innocence, enter the kennels, and make your way to the Altar of Hunger. Kill Kitava, then talk to Sin to finish Act 10. I shall strike you down. Not Take skill book from Lani. Get this movement speed recipe. Then enter the Templar laboratory. Watch the show to unlock Kaji's hideout. Enter fallen codes and get the vault key from Dominus's desk. Go to the haunted reliquary. Make your way to the end and go downstairs. Walk up to Kirak. Then go to your hideout. To start mapping, talk to Kirak to get your map device and to get a map. But before you start, make sure to fix your resistances after the debuff from killing Kitava in Act 10. Okay, I hope you enjoy the leveling guide. And as usual, a big thanks to my patrons for all your support and encouragement. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching! Bye!